friends, welcome back to my channel. Grow with me, Hashima. But, but factory come to have color drawings. Going on Hel to him. Uh, hello, my dear friends. Welcome back to my channel. Grow with me, Hashima. In the previous video, we learned how yarn was dyed and dried. In this video, we will learn the next steps. If you haven't seen the previous video, click the icon. Click the icon. Click. I can't see the previous. I can't see the previous video. Click the icon. Yeah, click the icon to see the previous video. The next step is starching of yarn. The colored yarn is then stretched along to apply starch. Sticks are inserted at this point where threads are tied. The yarn is then combed nicely with this wooden comb. They use this simple spray pipe to spray starch over the yarn. Starch is prepared from dry floor these days. It is then combed with this huge and thick coconut fiber brush in single direction to move the excess starch to one end. Similarly, it is done on the other side. If this brushing is not done properly, the end fabric will have knots all over once washed. It is then dried under shade and the whole process is repeated three times. The next step is knotting of broken threads. The starch yarn is again stretched along and looked for broken threads. And they are joined carefully. The yarn in all all these processes is used as vertical thread in the loom. Initially, the yarn is weaved to some length so that it will be easy to find the broken threads. This part is left without attaching threads as they will make a border of a sari by weaving directly using silk or zari threads. You can now see how they are finding broken threads and joining them. I am sure that this definitely needs a very good eyesight and concentration. They will be inserting sticks and move along finding and attaching broken threads. This process is done till the end with the same concentration. I now understood how time taking and difficult it is to make a fabric manually. We should definitely give that respect and to our clothes and use them carefully. We should be thankful to all these great artisans and skilled people. But now many machines have come up to do all this process 
which definitely are not up to this quality though the time consumed is less mm -hmm. i felt the job they were doing was very difficult we the end users are looking for more and more clothes leading to power loom fabric and synthetic fabric ultimately leading to pollution and wastage of resources you can now see how they are beating the yarn they are beating it because all the all the other untied threads will come down so that they can tie it easily now if you can see that uncle is holding something called as tantram he inserts that looking exactly at the center there are many small rods to it which will separate roughly 12 threads each it is then locked tightly and made sure that it stays till the end otherwise it has to be done from beginning now roughly 10 sets of these small rods are tied together this whole process is repeated till the end oh my god meanwhile this auntie spins the zari or silk or cotton thread into small tubes which will be used as horizontal thread in the loom This is the final step the hand loom where the weaving is done There is a deep pit under the loom in which weavers keep their feet and operate loom with some pedals The one auntie is sending from one side to other is the zari or silk thread that is used to, used in design. Now try to observe carefully. There's something which is moving left to right and right to left in the wooden piece auntie is moving. 
that is nothing but the horizontal thread which is used in the weaving. These are the punch cards used in giving designs to the saris. I hope you have seen so many designs on this sari like, like, like flowers, balls, elephants, mangoes, mango seeds, trees and so many else. Auntie explained me how it works but I didn't understand. It was so difficult to. Now let me show you closely how this horizontal thread is inserted. So friends, this is how a sari or a fabric is made. This is how a fabric is made. And, and think my friends, if you wish for more and more clothes, how many water do you think will get wasted? Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Bye and don't bye. forget to click the bell icon to get more updates. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Hey, no.